What up, Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you a squad built around the three Halloween squad builder challenge cards, which are Mario Gaspar, Dimitri Paye, and Douglas Costa. So, in goal, we've got Pepe Reina. Um, a lot of these cards are first owner, but I'm pretty sure he'll go for like 2k max, probably. Yeah, there you go, about a thousand for him. We've got Gerard Piquet, who I did uh, buy for 13,500. Of course, the untradeable uh, Mario Gaspar card, which you need to uh, get rid of one Screamer for. Then we've got Hector Moreno, very, very OP on the game, to be perfectly honest, 89 pace. Then we've got Rafinha with uh, some decent rounded stats. I know he doesn't look anything special, but I'll tell you in the highlights, he actually was decent. In the midfield, we go with And Herrera, very, very solid card if you haven't used him. 84 dribbling, 81 pace, six foot, four star skills, four star weak foot. Then we've got Thiago on the other side, five star skills, uh, 89 dribbling, 82 passing. Now. Uh, I'll tell you a lot more as I say in the highlights, but uh, I, I generally think it's better, even in attacking formations, to go with attacking-minded centre midfielders. I don't know, that's just my playstyle. Defensive, I just don't seem to be able to create a lot. But yeah, we've got Dimitri Paye there, the 87 rated card, which you have to give away five ultimate screamer cards to get this but he's finally a center attacking mid um you know th those stats 89 dribbling 89 pace 80 shooting uh, four star skills and four star weak foot very very good card there and the forwards to complete this squad we've got anthony martial the most expensive player on the team i bought him ages ago for 34,000, but uh, i think he's a bit cheaper now uh, looks to be about 28, maybe 28k. Then we've got Luok Remy. Uh, he's untradeable, but I'm pretty sure he's six, seven thousand. And then of course Douglas Costa, the uh, the one that you need to give away three ultimate screamer cards for. So for these three, you need to get rid of nine screamer cards, of course. And uh, I think the combined total of the rest of the team is probably around. 50, 60,000, so it is a really cheap team built around these three cards, but how does it play in game? Overall, I did enjoy this team, but for some reason, I don't know why, maybe I'll have to build another squad around him, but Douglas Costa just didn't seem to get involved. I think it's this formation. Originally, uh, I did try one game in a 4-2-3-1, brackets two, but again, he wasn't really you know, prolific there. I don't know, it might just be my playstyle. Like, I don't use right wings very often. The only one that I've found to be truly immense on this game is uh, Jans Quadrado. Every other one I've tried, Robin, obviously this Douglas Costa, Bale, just doesn't seem to get involved. So maybe, you know, it's just my playstyle. That's why right wings don't get involved. So it's hard to give a, a really good verdict on Douglas Costa. But anyhow, Dimitri Paye, Definitely the best player in this team. Absolutely terrific. He scored some really good goals. He linked up the play well. And uh, he definitely does feel a lot better as a cam. I've tried his left wing, uh, well, left mid, and it doesn't really get involved too much. But this one definitely is so much better in that cam position. Mario Gaspar, very good to be fair. Like, he, he is quite small for a centre back, I think, uh, five foot ten. You know, you do like a little bit of height, which is why I've got PK alongside him because it kind of counteracts a bit of that because PK is very very tall. PK surprisingly was uh, very very good going forward. Like he pushed forward a lot, but he's got a strong shot. Like I don't understand. He scored two wonderful goals. I think I only uh, show one in the highlights. I think overall I played ten games with his squad. And uh, yeah, you're seeing the highlights obviously in the background. Some of the games were in foot champions, um, but I think like three just because I had to grind out the 40 games. And yeah, this team was actually pretty good. Uh, Marcial Herrera, Thiago, solid players again. Uh, Rafinha, although he doesn't have great stats, uh, him and Moreno on the fullbacks actually, you know, impressed me to be fair. They're low rated cards. They're probably ones that people will overlook. But they get involved with the play, they interlink it quite well. And uh, Pepe Reina, originally I had a, a low rated uh, Spanish goalkeeper, I think Asenjo, but he was dumb. So I put Pepe Reina in there and uh, yeah, he was, he was quite solid. I mean, if you've got the coins used to here because he's absolutely amazing. And of course, Spanish, he'll get the chemistry required. But anyway, very good team. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video and yeah, peace.